Three good habits for every new Wrecking Ball. First, you should be mixing up your pathing. Pathing is the route that you engage the enemy. Most maps are going to have three lanes, the main, the left, and the right. Especially in the metal ranks, players tend to default to the main lane and ignore the two side lanes. As a new ball player, you should absolutely be taking advantage of this. Taking the side lanes can help you avoid unnecessary damage pre-fight and catch the enemy off guard. Next, you should know every health pack location. This links back to the first tip as most of the megas are located on the outside two lanes. With the mobility of ball, it's hard for your supports to keep up with you. So learning to be self-reliant on these health packs can make it to where your supports can focus on your team and less on running you down. However, make sure to not get too greedy and go too far away for a health pack as this will hurt your uptime. Being away from the fight for too long trying to find a heal can be just as bad as being eliminated as it leaves your team without a tank. And finally, you should be tracking at least one enemy cooldown. At the beginning of the match, determine which ability on the enemy team is most dangerous to you. This could be a Junkrat Trap, Sombra Hacker EMP, Roadhog Hook, or an Honest Sleep and so on. Now for the rest of that match, track that one ability, basing your engagements off of it and trying to play around it.